Assalamualaikum So I decided to make this video to talk about my story of how I converted to Islam So I became Muslim January 3rd 2017 Alhamdulillah I was 21 years old and I am from Iceland and here in Iceland there are very few Muslims, especially Icelandic Muslims. There are almost no Icelandic mu Muslims. And there are only like in total maybe 2,000 Muslims. I don't know exactly the number, but very few Muslims. And most people in Iceland, they are Christians. And most people in Iceland, they are mostly very similar but yeah they are not bad anyway but I know that and all Iceland know that Icelandic people they love to drink and party and yeah every weekend they mostly they go downtown to party but I was never that kind of person, I was never a party girl and yeah I was, I always felt different from everyone else and I was just never, I didn't like that kind of thing. I've never drank alcohol in my life, Alhamdulillah. My father was Christian and my mother, she was, she is. A Jehovah's Witness and my father he never spoke about religion to me but my mother she spoke about her religion and we even me and my siblings we sometimes we would attend meetings with my mother and we also talked to like few women there and yeah we got close and talked but because I was so young, I just never understood about this religion and I never understood about God. So I just decided that I didn't believe in God and I was an atheist. And the same with my brother and my sister, we were all atheists. But now, I'm not atheist anymore, so my mother, she always tried to make me believe and talk a lot about her religion, but yeah, but I never believed. So when I was around 12 or 13 years old, I was not happy I was very unhappy because I was bullied a lot in school and I just felt very different from everyone and I felt like they didn't understand me and I felt like they nobody understood me and I didn't understand how there could be a God because of how this world was like how this world is I mean because that's what I didn't understand before is how there could be a God when this life was like this and like a lot of bad things are happening in this life and I didn't understand why if there was a God why he would make all these things happen and that's what I didn't understand and I never got these answers answered. Nobody ever could give me those answers. So I didn't feel at peace with myself. I tried to find happiness in the wrong places, for example from boys. Yeah, but as I grew older I didn't think about God that much or about religion. I just live my life day by day working and studying and 
like that and yeah and I was depressed at times and I tried to hide it from everyone and I felt like this life had no meaning and I was just waiting for this life to be over and it felt like there was no point in this life and I just felt alone I felt very alone in this life because I felt like I had no one so one day after my summer work I met a boy I didn't know he was Muslim at first but later on I, he told me that he is Muslim and at that time I didn't know so much about Muslim or Islam I didn't know I only knew like a few basic things like that they pray five times a day they fast and that they don't eat pork so me and the boy we continue talking and at first we didn't talk so much about religion but then later on we talk more about religion and yeah and so yeah he was basically who introduced me to Islam I wanted to learn about Islam because for me it's like I was open to learn about it because in the end I have nothing to lose if I just learn about it and I will see if it's something for me or if it's not for me because you will not lose anything by learning about something you can always learn and then make your decision so that's what I decided was to learn about Islam and I did that so I started reading Quran and I just remember going to the mosque for the first time I just felt so much at peace and it was amazing so yeah it was very nice and I talked to many Muslim like all over the world different Muslim and there was one day that everything changed for me because that was when that was when I was listening to few Muslim talk about Islam and how they talk about Islam it made me feel like wow this religion is so beautiful and it's so peaceful it was something I've been searching for my whole life And yeah, that is just to have peace within myself. And in that moment, I felt like there is a God and only one God, one creator. In this life, people will search for happiness in their own places and end up not being happy. But there are people in this world who have God and they are happy and they don't have a lot of things or maybe they don't always have food but they are still happy because they have God and because they know by doing good and by pleasing Allah then Allah will grant them Jannah and that is all our Mus you know all Muslim goal is Jannah and that is what will make them happy is by doing good so yeah that was the feeling I was searching for my whole life and I could never imagine going back to where I was before I, I took my shahada first at home but then I decided I wanted to do it also at the mosque so I did inshallah I went to the mosque and took my shahada and yeah, I felt like it was the right thing to do for me. I felt it was right in my heart. So, 
that's what I believe in. I believe that there is only one God and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last messenger of Allah. So that's what I believe and that's why I took my Shahada. And I still continue learning and I'm still learning now. I'm still always trying to improve myself and I'm always thankful and grateful that Allah made me Muslim because I know that not everyone will have this opportunity and not everyone will have this feeling that I felt and I still feel it and so yeah I'm very grateful and thankful after I became Muslim I still continue learning more about Islam I learned how to pray and I did my first Ramadan, I fast like 10 days, my first time, and it was a very good experience because, yeah, I will never forget my first Ramadan fasting because it just made me so much more grateful for everything that I have. So that was a very amazing experience. I attended my first Eid September 1st, 2017 and there I talked to a more Muslim new and I talked to Icelandic women who also convert to Islam and it was very nice to talk to Muslim who know what I've been through and understand my feelings and my understand that this is the truth and it's not always it's not always easy being Muslim because people would talk bad about Islam and people talk bad about Islam and have the wrong ideas about Islam and my mother and my brother they also talk bad about Islam as well and it was very hard on me at times but Islam it teaches us to respect our parents so I always respect my parents even though we don't share the same religion I will always respect my parents and I am still the same person like I always was I was always a kind-hearted per person and I was always a nice person but I was just a confused person I, I didn't yeah I was just confused but now I see clear and and I just feel like Allah is all I need and I don't need a lot in this life I don't need to be rich and I don't need everyone to like me or I don't need men to make me happy or anything like that I just feel happy by serving Allah and I trust Allah's plans because Allah knows best so yeah thank you for listening to my story Assalamu alaikum